homesick for forests, flowers without names, vast savannas, lowlands or mountains teeming with game, bluffs crowned with cottonwood, mud banks where crocodiles might sun themselves. Finding instead the remains of strange picnics, replications of old selves, a cacophony of changes like a room crowded with chairs in which no one can sit, as if history were furniture, grown splintered and shabby. Burlington High School's Fogelberg Auditorium was alive with the sounds of poetry on Tuesday as the school's finalists for the 2017 Poetry Out Loud competition recited their memorized verses for the judges in front of a large crowd. The event was organized and hosted by Burlington High School English Department Chair Benjamin Lally. This is a program that is now in its 12th year statewide. It's our 11th year doing it here at Burlington High. Um, it came from what was seen as a need to just have poetry come back into the high school classroom or into American life, where we, the organizers felt that this was a chance to have the same sort of enthusiasm that you might see for a basketball game or for a, for a school play for something that's poetry related. Mr. Lally said that all the students in the school participate by memorizing a poem and competing in their classrooms. The school finalists must memorize two poems for the final intra-school competition. He said he believes bringing more poetry into the school is good for the students and enriches their lives. I think what we gain the most is this accessibility to other people having the same, having felt the same experience that you have had, and that seems really obvious to say, but I think that there is something we said about hearing a poem in, on our stage, reading one in a book, reading one in class, and, and having that ability to connect it to your own experience, which I don't know if that happens as much with music on the radio, with novels that we read, with movies that we watch, but I think with poetry there is almost this immediate connection that you can find or that you can make between what somebody else is processing through their writing and what you process in reading it, um, uh, which is why I think that it's valuable to have it be something that we're still aware of, still, still read and still think about. Mr. Lally also said he appreciates the poetry challenge because it provides the students with a piece of artwork they can connect with and at the same time pushes them to confront the difficult and often scary prospect of public speaking. I would love it if, if students kind of had this well of, uh, of poems they could pull from in, in processing something that's really exciting, really sad, really um, tragic, really uh, confounding in their own lives as a way of kind of helping process it. As far as the performance element, one thing I really enjoy seeing in our hallway every year for the students who don't even go beyond the classroom, but this is something that's very, very difficult for a lot of people. Public speaking is, is, is rated as the number one fear in America beyond death even, which is absurd. Us having the chance to have a student confront that fear and get past it or overcome it, I think is something that is very, very valuable. I really think that we try as a department to not just have this only be about who is the champion of Burlington High School, but where do we see students challenge themselves? Where do we see students who really take something very seriously that could be dismissed just as easily? Where do we see students who actually try to connect with something that is outside of them? And those are the moments that I really enjoy the most uh, in, in our performances here. He praised all the finalists who recited poems in the competition and said this year was a high watermark for the students' performances. We, we are always, every year our response is pretty much the same, which is that we thought last year's was good. It seems like every year across the board uh, the finalists come in incredibly well prepared. You saw this year some immensely difficult poems. I think we had more poems reaching back over 100, 200 years than I've ever seen before in the finals. Uh, people taking on that challenge. Um, the poise of the students in front of the microphone, I think that with, with no disrespect to the way that the judging came out, I think it would not have been much of a surprise in the auditorium if it had been four completely different kids uh, on the top three. I think, I think um, that it was really that close and the performances were just that strong across the board. The Burlington High winner this year was Gadi Ahir, who performed Sonnet One by Sir Philip Sidney, a difficult poem written in the 1500s, and To Live with a Landscape by Constance Erdang, a long poem by the standards of the competition. She will be going on to the state semifinals in Framingham this March, where on top of her two poems, she'll have to memorize a third, something that was hitting home shortly after the results were announced. I'm kind of shocked. There was a lot of hard competition. Um, and everyone did really great. I'm kind of happy I won, but still kind of, I need to memorize the third poem now. <laughs> so how long does it take to memorize the poems for the competition? The really long one, the 54-line long one, um, I ended up memorizing it in a day, 
because it just kind of called out to me. So that's the only reason I do a 54-line poem. Um, and I'm, that was fairly easy to memorize. The one that I did first, Sonnet 1, that was a lot harder to memorize. The language was weird. It was old. Mm -hmm. um, but there were both, once you, it, it's really easy to memorize a poem if you get really passionate about it. Finally, as for the fear of public speaking Mr. Lally spoke of, Gaddy said that that wasn't an issue for her. I like when people listen to me. <laughs> Congratulations, Gotti, and good luck in the semifinals and hopefully beyond at the Fogelberg Auditorium Ambi News Director, Rich Hosford.